Well, we came out with some good energy without without a doubt. A lot of fundamental work, a lot of individual work this morning. Uh, finished with a two-minute situation, the first one we've done in camp. We've got a lot of teaching to do that on that offensively. We've got to learn how to play situational football. Uh, we've basically been installing just our base offense, base defense. Now we're really getting into some situational football, and it takes a, it takes a while. We'll, we're going to come back tonight. We'll go uh, under the lights in the stadium and do a lot of team situations tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. You do a lot of competition uh, uh -huh. during camp, and, and even when you get into practice in the year, whether it's at night with the, the basketball or the golf mm -hmm. or in the, you know, the start of the practice, talk a little bit about why you do that. Well, we got to learn how to compete. You know, I, I don't care in what profession you're in, um, whether you're a student, whether you're an athlete, whether you're in the your workforce, you got to learn how to compete. And it's, it's something, you know, we've got it on our shirts, we've got it on the walls here, it says compete every day. And, and our mentality is we're going to compete in everything we do. And so it might be musical chairs, it might, t it might be tic-tac-toe, it might be offense versus defense, um, it may be a board drill, but everything that we do, we're going to compete, and there's always a winner and a loser, because that's the way life is. You know, winners get rewards, losers got to deal with consequences, and that's the way it is, so we've got to get used to that. You mentioned installation, how far along in that process are you guys? Well, we're probably about halfway through. Offensively, we try to get... We try to do. Uh, we try to get it all in about three days and just repeat it five times throughout camp. So we're on our second second roll through here. Um, we've got a lot of young guys at, at wideout, so we slowed things down a little bit. Defensively, they put a lot in. Now they're kind of figuring out what they're good at, and so uh, so we're close to getting everything in. But the biggest thing for us now is situational ball. How, uh, how nice was it to get a, a little break from uh, practice yesterday? Oh, it was pretty good. You know, we've been running ever since Monday, four or five days straight. So a little time off the rest of the legs, you know, relax a little, clear your mind. It was pretty good. You're one of the, the veteran guys in the secondary back there. You, you brought in some new faces. Just talk about how you guys are as a unit are meshing. Oh, we're coming along pretty good. I really enjoy this group because we all like have fun with it. We all know each other. So we just push each other to the uh, to our limits and we just get better every day. I try to help me and Cam try to help the younger guys, you know, so it's all good. We're all learning at the same time. You were a wide receiver a year and a half ago, and now mm -hmm. you're you know you're a veteran cornerback out there. Um, do, you, do you feel it's it's a natural position for you now? Yeah, it took a little minute for me to get used to it to get to really get comfortable. But now I'm in the playbook more. I'm working on my craft more, so it's a lot. I'm a lot more comfortable out there now. You get to mm -hmm. watch that that front seven in front of you on defense, and uh, they look like they got a chance to be a pretty special unit. What have you seen from them? Oh, yeah, they've really grew. And it started, like, during the off season. They all worked hard. They pushed the whole defense to really to just get better every day. And right now, it really helps out a lot on the back end when we got a front seven as strong as we got. You know, the offense is looking for somebody to kind of establish themselves as a playmaker at receiver. And you go, you're going against them, you know, all day at practice. What have you seen from that unit? Well, they're, they're, all, they're all pretty good. It's time we got John Ish. You know, Emmanuel's out right now. And a lot of the younger guys are coming along, too. So we should have a lot of playmakers on that side of the ball.